Hey guys, uh, I just want to take a quick look at uh, Shiba, Shiba Inu. The ticker for this is SH, SHIB, SHIB, and I'm currently on the weekly time frame. Now, I did a video on this coin, I think it was about eight or nine days ago, and at the time, uh, we were just right here. So we had fallen below uh, this level of, of support, and it had become resistance. So we were right around here, and then it had all these levels marked out, and I said, just watch for the break of this downsloping level of uh, resistance. And then I gave you like the potential upside targets for that, right? So here we are. It looks like uh, the price is breaking out. But before I get into the details of that, I should mention that if you're not subscribed and um, you want to get notified when I release new videos in the future, I'm going to try and do about two or three analysis videos every single day. Um, just click subscribe, click the bell, and then click on all. Because if you don't, um, once you leave this channel, it might be hard for you to find it again just because, you know, it's a new channel and I'm only around 500 subscribers or so. So because of that, I'm not really prioritizing the search results, right? So yeah, if you want to get notified when I release these coin analysis videos, just uh, click subscribe. Okay, so um, before I address this uh, potential breakout, uh, I should mention that if you want to trade this asset, I recommend uh, drawing these levels. So just to recap, I know I did in my last video, but in case you didn't watch it, you have this lower region of support right here, and that's just a range, right? So I just drew it as like a like a box. So that's good to have on your chart just in case the price does pull back. This is like a, a very important level. Um, and then I have these two horizontal lines, and I draw these lines on the weekly time frame. So as you can see, uh, the price really respects this particular level right here. So you see, um, I look for where the, the candle body closes, right? So right here was a level of resistance. And then right here, uh, I mean, then we had this huge bull run and this kind of like long drawn out um, retracement. And then you see where we got support. It was right at this previous level of um, resistance that flipped to support. So then we had these two candle bodies close above it. We, we I mean, we sold off below it, but the bulls came in right, uh, right at around Sunday evening and, and they defended the level, right? So we had the, the candle body closed above this level. Yeah, then we came up a bit and then we, we made our way back down to retest it. And then, yeah, we had a bounce off of the level once once more. And then, and then yeah, we came down again. And it held as a support level for a month. So we have four candle bodies closing above it here. And then ultimately, it sold off. And then, of course, as you know, like a, a broken level of support will often function as a resistance on the way up. So then we had, you know, another almost two months as this being the resistance. And we just broke out of it. And not only have we broken out of this resistance level, you'll see that this downsloping level of resistance the price is fighting with it right now. Okay, so I'm going to get into that. But the one more, uh, sorry, one more level of um, support and resistance that I recommend you draw on your chart if you're going to trade this asset is right here. And you know, with Shiba, the, the, the price is ridiculous. It's like 0 0.00012, whatever. Like just just eyeball it, and then you know, right where you see, uh, I would I would draw the line right here. So identify these two candles and just draw it right above these candle bodies right here. And then you'll notice this level is pretty significant. So it was resistance for a long time here. It was support, resistance again, resistance, support, so on and so forth. So obviously, if the price makes it back up to this level, I'm going to look to this level as a potential resistance. Okay, so now it looks like um, I'm on the weekly time frame and currently... If I draw the trend line like this, then it looks like we're breaking out, right? But you got to know, people are going to draw this line differently, right? So not all the not all traders are the same. And you know, this is a valid trend line. So you have one, two, three, four. Um, this will be like the fifth kind of time it interacts with this line. Um, but you'll see like this is from the body, wick, wick. Uh, this is a body. And then now we're breaking out. But some traders are going to draw this like this. They're just going to connect the, the wick. So they're going to have the connection here, here. This one will fall short a little bit, but then there's here. So depending on how you draw it, they're both, they're both valid, right? So you have more than three touches. So one, two, three. So this is a valid trend line, and that's what we're at right now. So, I mean, are we breaking above it? If I draw it like this, no, we're right at the resistance. If I draw it based on this level here, then it, in this candle body, then it looks like we're breaking out. So it's just perspective. It's just how you draw the line. Um, I'm not going to get too excited until this level breaks, right? So if I see a weekly, uh, not even not even like a weekly anything close above here, then that's progress, right? Because this is drawn from the wick. So we've never even had a wick close above here. But what I would like to see is a candle body close above this line. And then I'll be like, okay, 
uh, that's a strong strong breakout and then perhaps you can go to a smaller time frame look for a retest buy the retest and then and then try to target these upper ranges right but remember this level here is going to be most likely a level of resistance okay so um, I'm going to change the chart right now and I want to show you something so in the last video I did I showed you like an early sign that this could be the turnaround point because what I showed you is a this is called a bullish divergence. So you see how we have, you know, we have a low, then we have a lower low on the price, but the oscillator, look what the oscillator was doing. So this is called the ultimate stochastic. It's a premium indicator. I'll put a link to this indicator in the uh, pinned comment, but you'll see on the indicator we had a we had a low, and then we had a higher low. So you see the difference? It kind of like slants slants down here on the price, but then it goes up on the uh, oscillator bullish divergence on the weekly time frame so this holds a lot of that's a lot of that's a very strong signal so yeah that that's a sign that we were likely going to turn around so right now i'm just gonna I'll switch it back here right now i want to see a weekly candle close above this down sloping level of resistance and when you draw it just to be extra extra uh, you know cautious with it if you don't want to jump into a, a pumping market you know unless you're sure you get a good close wait for the weekly candle to close like right now we're, we're saturday night this candle closes tomorrow at around eight o'clock. Um, you know, if if the price continues higher and closes above here, boom, that's your sign that this is this is um, a pretty very strong signal. You can maybe you can either get in there or maybe you can just wait for a retest and then try to get in. I like to get in where I have a, a support level very um, very close to the price, so I can place a stop loss just below. Right. Let's look at a um, a smaller time frame here. So I'm going to switch the chart back over here and let's see what's going on on the small time frame. And see if there's any uh, opportunities. Okay, so the fight, the price is trying to fight with this line still. You see, it wicked up and now it's selling down, right? The candle closes uh, for the day in about 14 minutes, so we're having a little bit of a, of a sell down here. So if this closes with the body underneath and the wick, it's not really the strongest sign. Let's see what's going on on the uh, on the four hour here. Okay, so this four hour time frame. So if, if the price does pull back here, it does look pretty extended. Like I would not really recommend, I would not personally buy this as extended as it is on a shorter time frame. I would look for at least a pullback on a shorter time frame to get in personally. And uh, my targets to get in, what I would do is a, um, I'll take a Fibonacci and I'll run it from the, uh, the swing low here, the bottom up to the top. And what I wanna see is, do any of these levels have confluence, right? So as you can see, just in a price structure, Right here, this 50% level has confluence with this price action. So we kind of had a little bit of resistance here. And, and if I if I was to look left, I imagine this probably lines up with price action. Yes, it does over here. So we have a pretty valid level of resistance here. So I would look to this to serve as a support level potentially. Um, I'm going to switch this down to the one hour now and take a, take a look at what's happening. Okay, um, you know, when I look at this on the one hour, okay, so the 3A2, if it makes it down here, to the 3A2, drawn from this swing low all the way down here, then yes, that does have confluence with the price, and so does this 50. So these two levels um, would be good, but if I was to, if I drew the fib from this swing low here, I imagine that, yeah, we've already kind of came down to the 3A2. You know what, the levels line up regardless, right? So that would just be the 50% would be right here. So it, you know, it lines up regardless, any way you wanna, you wanna draw it which low you want to drive from. But yeah, you know, say if the price comes down here to this 382, top of this price action, that could be a potential entry. And then you just place your stop loss just below. Um, I wouldn't enter right away as soon as the price came down. I would look for like a like a doji and maybe like a bullish engulfing. And then I would I would place my stop loss just below uh, the initiation of the, of the bullish candle. Of course, if this breaks, then the next level I'm going to look to is right down here, right? And that kind of has confluence with this cluster of price action. So yeah, so I mean, to sum it up, Oh yeah, I should I should switch back and I should um, basically discuss these targets here. So I like to uh, take a Fibonacci when I'm looking for targets to the upside and I'll run it from the top down to the bottom. So if I do that, it gives me this projection here. And um, when I have the Fibonacci uh, retracement levels, I wanna see how it lines up with the price action. So obviously this 3A2 lines up perfectly with this swing high right here, right? So that's confluence, the 3A2 fib and the price. And I think obviously if the price is able to break here, the next level I would target is this level right here. Again, I'm not going to say the uh, the price because it's ridiculous. It's 0 0.0001590, I think. Um, so that's a, that's a level I would look for this price to get uh, resistance. So, you know, maybe resistance here, a little bit of a sell-off, come to retest this level of support and then make its way up. It kind of works up, it kind of works in waves, right? So, you know, 
stair stepping, right? So come here, rejection, bounce off support here, break it, uh, rejection, bounce off the previous resistance as a support, and kind of it works works its way up like that. But these are the levels I would look to. Obviously, this 50% level also lines up with this uh, support level here, so that's a, that's another good one. And obviously, this up here, this golden pocket range, so that lines up perfectly with this cluster of uh, a price action as well. So yeah, if you want to know, you know, if we if we do break this level of resistance, and uh, tomorrow night is that's when I'm going to look to see how this candle closes. If we get a strong push up and you know the candle closes above here, that's my sign to maybe look for a brief pullback and enter a long position. And I would just target these uh, these resistances to the upside, right? Um, but yeah, that's just a quick update on Shiba. Uh, Shiba Inu, and uh, yeah, hopefully you found that helpful. Once again, if you're not subscribed and you want to get notified when I drop these new videos, click subscribe, click the bell, and then click on all. And yeah, that about wraps it up. Take care. Have a good evening. Bye.